Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Afro Junior back again with episode three of Flex by Mighty Jax. If you're a skater or a deck collector, you would not want to miss out this episode. Oh, yes. mad! Holy! But before that, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you not miss out on our videos every week. I'll see you guys. So we are here today at Kevin's Crip, who is an avid collector of skate decks. And by avid, I mean he has things from the 80s like Santa Cruz, Dwayne Peters, Dogtown. So we are here today to check out how big of a flex he is. So let's go. Wow, this is a really sick crib. Yeah, thanks, man. And there's more right there. Oh my god. Yeah, nothing but Look wood. Look at this. Oh, oh man, you gotta tell me all about this, like straight from the get go, man. Like all the way from the 80s till the present. Uh, you gotta yeah, tell sure, about the whole thing. All right, let's yeah. go all the way back, right? How, right? how did like skating inspire you to start your collection? Well, so basically, I started skating around the late 1980s. Uh. Yeah. So, more specifically, 1989, a child of mine, uh, his name is Anthony. So he introduced me to skateboarding, uh, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is that Anthony still around? Yeah, he's still around. Still... In fact, uh, he's he's still a really good friend of mine. He's also my uh, like my business partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Shout out, Anthony. Yeah, so I was like, hang out with him and he uh, brought his board along. So I tried, I think the first time I, I skated was along like East Coast Park. Like, oh, okay. yeah, by the beach. And then he, he let me his board home for a couple of days. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I remember just, you know, bringing a board to... I was staying at the Tiong Baru, so I, I brought it to the CC, yeah. naturally. Uh, and then, yeah, just cruising around and then just started doing all these uh, acid drops. Like, uh, you know, you jump oh, onto the board okay. and then you land on, like, like this on the board. And, and then I got hooked like, instantly. And then after I got hooked, um, he, well, he has got an extra board, so yeah. he, you know, he lent me a board and then uh, I started hanging out with, you know, like him and other skate friends. But back then, like, was skating a thing? Like, we do know in the States, like, it was popping yeah. up and all this other thing, but in Singapore, was it catching the trend as well or were you guys more underground? Yeah, I would say it's uh, more underground. There's, uh, I would say, a handful of people, you know, doing it. Yeah. But what uh, person? from the States, like, also kind of pushed your passion? Like, were you looking up to anyone? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. So there are skaters like uh, Tommy Guerrero from uh, Paul Parata, Jason Jesse. Yeah. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, not forgetting uh, Vision street, uh, Vision Skateboards, right? So there's uh, Mark Gonzalez, yeah. Oh, okay. So all these are like skate legends now. Yeah. yeah. So that means you started your collection quite uh, way back. Like, how long ago did you start the collection? Well, I've never kept, you know, like any of the old skateboards, you know, that I that, that I used to ride. But I was I was gifted a board uh, in my early twenties, you know. So that is actually like a um, like a vintage uh, Paul Parata, uh, like Steve Caballero skateboard, which I still have it. So I've had that board for like uh, more than twenty years now. So it's one of my priced. So not only do you collect uh, the boards, you, I've heard that you also met the people that you were inspired by and you got it autographed as well. So that's yeah, yeah, some, new level. Yeah, some some skaters, you know, like uh, that I looked up to. Um, lucky enough to have met them, you know, like uh, doing overseas trips, you know. For example, Dwayne Peters, yeah. You met Dwayne Peters, yeah, no way. Yeah, Santa Damn, Cruz legend. That is sick. Yeah. Wait, you met him coincidentally or was it like, oh, you planned out, you know he was going to be there, you know, it's like, I need to check this guy out. Yeah. I well, uh, I knew there was a, like an event happening, you know, like yeah. where I was at. Yeah. So I, I brought some of my boards, uh, some of the boards that I uh, bought in the US, right? And yeah. Then, yeah, I brought it to the event and, you know, just hoping that I'll meet him. And, okay, yeah. other than Dwayne Peters, is there any other celebrities or like... Um... Uh, yeah, like Christian Hosoy, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's a legend as well. Yeah, like guys like Steve Caballero. Uh, in fact, he came to uh, this part of the world um, a couple of years back in Malaysia. Oh. Yeah, so I was uh, lucky enough, you know. Yeah. I know this one, Stan Z Boy, is he called? Yeah, uh, that's Jay Adams. He's, uh, yeah, that's him as well. Yeah, when he was a kid. He's a legendary uh, dog town skater from uh, Venice Beach, California. Yeah, yeah, I heard he was the most creative one. He made a lot of, he started creating a lot of moves. Uh, uh, from... Yeah, so they were like mimicking, you know, like uh, surf moves on uh, empty swimming yeah. pools. Yeah, they've uh, created a, a lot of uh, moves. Like in fact, uh, like without guys like uh, Tony Alva and um, Jay Adams, you know, there wouldn't be like a vertical skateboarding, which is, you know, like all the half pipes and all. Yeah. 
Best dream. Yeah. And we've got an anti-hero as well. How do you get this collection? Well, yeah, I think I collected this over a number of years. This is, I think, one of the first bots that I collected in uh, 09. Okay. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, this, uh, the graphics are done by uh, this legendary uh, Power Parata skater, uh, Lance Mountain. Oh. Yeah, so he did all this series in uh, 09, 09, and this is in uh, 2010, I think. Yeah. Because this is the first one out of this series, uh, so I especially like this one, uh, Julian Stranger. He's also one of my uh, favorite skater. Yeah, from Anti Hero. In fact, yeah, yeah, he's uh, the founder of, uh, one of the founders of uh, Anti Hero. So that wall, yeah. you know, it seems like it's dedicated to the Z Boys of Dogtown. As you can see, uh, like all these uh, boards, right? The, there's a signature design which is like the cross, yeah. and with the Dogtown uh, logo on it, right? Yeah. So it was uh, all created by uh, this guy called uh, Wes Humston. Him and this guy uh, Jim Muir, they were the founders of uh, Dogtown, and yeah, like the graphics are all like kind of aggressive looking. Very surf inspired as well. Yeah. Punk rock vibe, you know. Yeah. That's how it is. So, oh, okay, so these are, I'm assuming these are like the second uh, generation Dogtown. Well, you have like the uh, first generation uh, Dogtowner, which is uh, Jay Adams here and Shogo Kubo. They were originally from the Z Boys, you know, the Zephyr Boys. And then there is like the second generation uh, skaters, uh, Dogtown skaters, uh, Eric Dressen and uh, Jesse Martinez. Yeah. So yeah, these are the guys that I, you know, like uh, grew up, you know, like admiring uh, when I was uh, when I first started skating. Yeah. Oh, that's Eric sick. Dressen. Oh, for this one, the dedication to Jay Adams, I'm assuming. Yeah. So this board was uh, hand painted by a friend of mine, oh. Charmaine, a sign painter. Okay. Yeah, it's actually so, really nice design as well. And now the Gonzalez, if I'm not wrong? Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, Mark Gonzalez as well. Oh that's, nice. That's uh, one of my favorite skaters. So this wall is like, you know, just random boards that I like. Uh. This board, the Ricky Windsor board, because of the shape, I actually, this is uh, actually uh, hung upside down. So this is the nose? Yeah, this is the nose. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, you know, the sharp nose, right? It, yeah. It makes it look so much more aggressive. Yeah. Oh, that's true. These are all like, um, like skaters from the 80s, you know, like Fred Smith, this is Bill, Bill Danforth. So this is uh, Tony Alva. So he is uh, one of the uh, original uh, like uh, Z-Boys and uh, Dogtown skaters. You from got the, the signatures from Tony Alva? Uh, well, not from him uh, directly. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I got this from uh, Go Sports Singapore. Shout out, yeah. Oh, okay. And this one as well? That's yeah, this is uh, Christian Hosoi. Damn. This is a spray painted by uh, Dwayne Peters. Oh, so, yeah. is that an original? Yeah, it's an <gasps> original art Sick. from uh, Dwayne Peters. Uh. So, um, knowing there's so many uh, subcultures in skating and like the whole growth and development, what do you think continues to inspire you to have like all these collections? I guess, you know, there's always a new generation of, you know, like a skateboard artists, uh, skateboarders, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, constantly inspired by, you know, like the new art that they create. You know, and also, you know, like uh, the new level of, uh, you know, like skateboarding, you yeah. know, like uh, it's getting crazier and crazier. So um, I do know from episode one, episode two, and this is the third episode, they always have hidden items. Like they don't flex all everything at once. So what or where is your hidden flex? Can uh, we check it out? Yeah, I think I might have some in my shoe cabinet. <laughs> Ooh, shoe cabinet, eh? This is wow. awesome. Yeah, these like a musician series is by uh, this company called uh, Pocket Pistols. Yeah, Pocket Pistols. Yeah, yeah. These are some of the music that I listen to, like, you know, like David Bowie, Joe Strummer, Gigi Allen. It's a uh, Yen Curtis from uh, Joy Division. And you can see their lyrics also printed. Yeah, it's all hand printed. Hand printed. Yeah, hand screen Man. printed. All the boards here, all like a uh, like hand screen printed. I would say most of them, you know, like I would eventually skate them because yeah. I've got like really too, you know, too much boards, right? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too, too much. I it? would eventually skate them, you know, like some of these, I'm saving them, you know, for much later when I'm a little older. Oh, okay. Yeah. So which one would you actually say you take the first to ride? Yeah, actually, I'm, I've been like a 
you know, waiting to write like uh, maybe this, uh, these, Ooh. yeah, the Steve Olsen ones, uh, you know. Oh my God. Because uh, I think they look better, you know, when you write them when you're a little older, yeah, when you're a certain age. As you can see, you know, like uh, Dwayne Peters, he's got this, uh, uh, a lot of his bots are like with this uh, stripes here, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's a very punk style, like a uh, design. It's one of uh, his uh, signature look. Uh. You can see it's all signed. So, uh, well, not all. I think, uh, yeah, just this one, signed. And then uh, he has uh, drew some art on it as well. Look yeah. at that! You guys do not get this. You, no. Yeah. This is, wow. That is so I awesome. bought this from him and I, you know, like asked if he can, you know, like scribble some shit on it. So, yeah. No way! And I really like this too as well because, uh, yeah, these two graphics are, you know, inspired by um, like early Sex Pistols design. Okay. So, yeah, if you notice, you know, it is these two cowboys, you know, like standing, facing each other, right? Yeah. What else do you notice? Oh, they're whipping it out! Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, these are, these are the gay cowboy series. Yeah.